Hello there assassins, this is Wheel and welcome back to another Wheel Assassin Guide. In this one, I'll be teaching you guys how to build another Marvel icon. This time, we'll be building the Mighty Thor, from of course the movies uh, that Thor is in. Uh, so this is actually Thor from the original Thor film, and uh, in my opinion that was one of the coolest ones ever in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So cool. If you haven't seen it already, you should definitely go and check it out. It is amazing. Um, but yeah, I think it was like the 10th anniversary of that original film this year and this month. Um, but I'm not exactly certain on the date. I want to say it was around like the 13th. But um, yeah, I don't have anything to sort of back that up. So I'm kind of just going with my gut on that one. Um, yeah, and obviously the different like release dates in different countries. So it might have even been like a different month entirely. But um, anyways, we'll just add Thor to our worlds anyway. Protect us from, uh, you know, all the crazy bits and bobs that, uh, that are around the, uh, the galaxy and stuff like that. And um, also he can control the weather, which is just brilliant for us. So yeah, let's get the materials we need and get building Thor. Alright then guys, so we'll take ourselves some polished blackstone bricks. Blackstone slabs, polished blackstone brick slabs, and some blocks of coal. Now you're probably wondering, why did I build just a normal Thor and not a pop vinyl version uh, like I did for Bucky and uh, Sam? Well, it's a good question. I actually just went ahead and built this like super randomly from my imagination. I looked at one picture of Thor from the original Thor movie uh, and then tried to like sort of mimic it in Minecraft as if he was a normal human. Uh, in Minecraft, I mean, obviously he's a normal human, but you know what I mean? Why well, is it God? That's besides the point. Anyways, um, <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to go ahead and build him like normally instead of building a pop vinyl version like I usually do. Uh, and then I might do a pop vinyl version for when I get on to doing the Avengers, which I really, really want to build as well. Let me know which Avengers you'd like to see first of all. Let's go ahead and take some polished blackstone bricks and go one, two, three, like so. And we'll actually do this for like a three block square. So we've actually got a total of nine blocks here. Go a block away and also build another lot of nine so a block away just here like so then what we'll do is actually go ahead and kind of make it look a little bit odd so we want to go ahead and stick ourselves uh blackstone slabs here here uh a block made here and here a block made here a block made in the center one but then it's going to have a slab on top so a block and then a slab so let's do the block and slab here Two blocks on either side, well one block on either side, slabs there, and a block in the middle. Then we'll go ahead and take our blackstone uh, bricks, we'll go one, two, three for both of these. And then we'll build ourselves two rows of three block of coal above them, like so. Awesome, then we'll stick a block of coal in the middle of both of these. Uh, then we'll go ahead and take our polished blackstone bricks and go one, two up like oh no 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 we won't on um, my mistake we'll go ahead and take our block of coal first of all and place two here two here two there and two here then we can take our polished blackstone bricks going over the top of those uh, just to make like a three block shape across the top like so uh, around the back as you can see we sort of do the block of coal as well so we sort of carry it around a little bit um, so we go ahead and just go block of coal here and there uh, then polished blackstone bricks in the middles. The middles? Is that even a word? In the middle <laughs> of both of those. Uh, then we'll take our polished blackstone bricks again, going up behind our block of coal, and actually going above it just by a block. One, two, three. Do this on all of these pillars because we want to make these nice and symmetrical. Now we want to bring these forward by a block for each of them, like so. Uh, then we go ahead and just carry it up by one. With both, with all four of them, sorry, like that. Yeah, that's looking really, really cool, guys. You're doing an awesome job. Okay, it does get a little weird as we go through this because we're trying to make the pattern uh, that um, Thor does have on his sort of chainmail trousers, <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, so we'll go ahead and stick a block of coal here on all of these, of course. Uh, then we can carry it around with the block of coal in the middle of those as well, for like a stripe. Uh, then we'll do a layer of polished blackstone bricks like so uh, then we'll go ahead and build three in like a corner cluster like so with our block of coal yeah looking pretty cool then we'll take our polished blackstone bricks and fling in these gaps uh, then we'll go ahead and stick a block in the middle of those like so and now this is where it gets super weird like if you thought that was already quite weird this is where it gets ultra weird 
what we need to do now, let me fly over so I can show you just before we carry on, is we need to extend the kind of trousers out a little bit so the boots look like they're surrounding the leg, which is what we want to go for. So this does get a little strange, so definitely pause the video should you need to. And of course, feel free to ask me any questions in the comments down below. Okay, so what we do is just layer this up by using your polished blackstone bricks. Even filling in that little gap if you want to as well. Uh, then we'll go ahead and take ourselves our slabs again. This time, we're going to go ahead and do like a slab outline, but we're not actually going to keep this. So we'll do like slabs here in like a half circle. And then slabs here in almost like a half circle as well. Knocking off this block and this block, like so. Those slabs even. Bring these slabs out on all the corners. And then we're going to go ahead and remove the inside slabs, like this. So now remove that sort of semicircle, like that. And that will help us to determine where the upside down stairs are going to be, so we can actually give the illusion of sort of you know the the boots kind of surrounding the foot the legs even the foot what am i on uh then we'll go ahead and take our polished blackstone bricks again and we'll stick one in between our legs just like so and that is actually going to be sort of for our trousers to connect up to each other if that makes sense but that is looking so good guys i'm going to go grab some new materials but probably keep my blackstone bricks and maybe even the two lots of slabs here i'm not certain yet cool okay so next we'll take ourselves polished blackstone brick stairs, polished blackstone bricks once again, and keeping our polished blackstone um, brick slab. Gosh, so many like B's in that sentence, that's pretty hard to pronounce. Uh, then we'll take ourselves block of iron as well. Take yourself your stairs and go upside down underneath all of these slabs, which I'm currently failing at. There we go. <laughs> like so. Nice one. Also fly around to the back and behind this block in the middle, Place an upside down one just there, in between our two legs. Now above this stair, you can place a block, and then on the top of this block, just here, so out again in line with these slabs, is you do like a diagonal slab up, just there. Then above this slab, we place three blocks, with one block overhanging on both sides, like that. Take yourself block of iron and fill in this nine block shape with your iron for the chainmail sort of trousers, like so. Yeah, I think that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, alright, nice one. So now then guys, I'm going to start us on the torso, but I also don't want to do it too confusingly, so I'm only going to take myself block of iron for now, and block of neverite. Uh, let's go ahead and build out for uh, two on the back here, so we're in line with those blackstone bricks, just like so, with our iron. Let's go three over here, for along the top of those slabs, and then here for two. Uh, let's also do the same over this way, so two here, and then we'll do the three just there, and then finally two just there to connect to the blackstone. That looks really, really good. Yeah, nice one. Okay, so around the front, instead of doing a blackstone pattern, we take a block of netherite. We go ahead and stick ourselves uh, blocks of netherite just in here for one, two, three. Then we actually want to go ahead and knock out that block there, replacing that one just there. And this block here, replacing one just there. Then we can build in that little gap just there, and then build this out by one, like so. Yeah, that looks really, really cool. Okay, so for the front of the torso, we go up on the corners for one, two, and then build this sh shape along for two rows of about, I think this might be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, nice one. Uh, then we'll go ahead and build out by one on both sides, just overhanging the body, like so. Uh, then we'll go ahead and go to these iron blocks, building up th two rows of three. So a six block shape in total. Remember, what you do to one side, you must do to the other. And then finally, for the back, it's just a straight road of nice two rows of seven, like so. Looking awesome. Okay, so now then, we'll go ahead and take some grey concrete, block of netherite once again, uh, iron trap doors, and blocks of iron as well. Uh, let's go ahead and take our block of netherite, go up on the corners here by one, two, on both sides of course. Uh, then we'll stick a block of iron in these little gaps just down there. Uh, stick in a block of netherite next to those blocks of iron, and then fill in the final three with grey concrete. 
Then you can place yourself two blocks of netherite above the grey concretes on both sides. Uh, then you can actually fill up this shape here with adding two rows of three. So it looks very much like a chest plate, you know what I mean? So like a really, really bulky chest plate. Pretty cool. Alright, that's looking awesome. So what we need to do now behind the iron is we're going to go ahead and stick ourselves iron trapdoors on the front of them, like so. But we want to get these to fold down so they look like the... I don't really know what they are. They kind of look like bolts, <laughs> which is kind of weird. I know they're not bolts, of course, but um, they uh, they really do look like sort of chest plate uh, bolts, maybe for holding up the armor or something. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't really know much about medieval armor. I, I am really interested in that type of thing, but I've never really researched it. Maybe I should have done some more research beforehand. Leave it with me. I will put it in the description. Let's take some levers and go ahead and come behind these iron blocks, sticking them down so we can fold them up. Don't worry, the levers will be nice and hidden for nobody to see on the back there as well. Now then, around the sides, what we need to do is take our grey concrete, place three here, and then two here. Then we'll take a nice two rows of seven along the back here. Once again, do the row three, and then the two just here. Because what we need to do is go ahead and do like a netherite type of curve around this. So once we have that sort of block here next to the iron, it goes ahead and comes back into this grey concrete. Which, you know, is kind of, kind of cool, but also a little bit annoying. Because you have to take our block of iron and go up like that. And then we have to go up another one and along for the rest of the two. So let's do it here. One there, one there, and two here. Like so. I think that is looking pretty cool. Uh, if you'd like to go ahead and put netherite across the top of this, you know, area as well, then that would look awesome too. Okay, I think we are about ready to get onto the next section. So now we're going to build Thor's torso as a sort of 2D shape, and then we'll go ahead and build behind this afterwards. So the same materials as before, we go ahead, go behind this gap just here that we left above our grey concrete. Uh, place yourself one netherite just here, and then three above it, like so. Just stacked up like so. Place yourself grey concrete just here and here. Uh, then we can take ourselves block of netherite and place two here and two here. Grey concrete will go on top of that netherite back there and bring it forward by a block. Then we'll go up three just here. Then we'll take our netherite and go up two. Oh, sorry, just one on both sides like that. Taking our grey concrete, go up on both sides by two. Uh, then go ahead and go one, two, three, one, two, three, like so. Almost messed up. There we go. Looking awesome. Now we need to make this again going back into a 3D shape. So on this grey concrete back here, place one, two netherite blocks like so. And then you can take your grey concrete and sort of silhouette this bigger grey concrete section. So one block in the middle, one here, one here, uh, two on this side and another two on this side like so. Super cool. Now let's backtrack and go underneath this overhanging part, placing a nether right block on both of them, and then two blocks of iron. Make sure they're in line with the ones below. Looking cool. Then we'll take iron trap doors and doing the same design we did before, place yourself two levers behind them and fold them down so you have the iron trap doors flush to the body. Then you can take netherite just here, next to the two iron, on both sides. Fill in this little gap here, just by adding in another row of netherite. Don't worry too much, because it's kind of covered up by the arm on both sides, so even if you make a mistake, it's not going to be seen, so please do not panic about that. There we go, and now we're going to go ahead and take ourselves um, grey concrete, and we'll go along here for two. Lots like this. I might actually just... Apart from that one just there. Oh no, you know what? We'll keep it how it was. I'm trying to make it a little bit more confusing than it needs to be. That's my bad. So, two rows of our grey concrete again. But on this back part, because we're a little bit further down from the rest, we'll do a third row of seven. Just like so. Just so you can have it all nicely lined up together and not make it confusing. And the back doesn't matter too much either, because the cape is covering up the back. So... Perfect, we can kind of save ourselves some trouble. Okay, in the little gaps up here, in these little shoulder gaps, is where the arm is going to sit. So we needn't worry about those too much. So that is actually really, really helpful. 
the arm is kind of going to go in this gap here as well. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't worry again about that. For now, though, let's take our block of iron, placing two blocks here and two blocks here. And then we'll build the shape up. So we'll do another two blocks behind those two and build them up for a row like that. Placing iron trapdoors on the bottom two like that. Those are sort of the things that hold the cape on the, the actual chest plate, which is awesome. <laughs> Thor is looking a little bit derpy at the moment. Um, but we're going to sort this out, make it look, you know, unique and proper. So, yeah, never fear. Let's get some more materials or even just some dimensions. Okay, now then, to give Thor his, you know, very, very buff, tough look, we need to go ahead and add in some muscles. So we take some blocks of iron again. We're going to go to here, where we left a big gap above our grey concrete. We're going to go ahead and just behind the netherite build out for one, two, three. Do that for three rows like that. Our arms are going to be three blocks in length, so just remember that. In width, sorry. Just remember that. Let's do another two rows of three just at the top there. Uh, then we'll come down here and where we have just the two, we'll actually drop this down for three more. One, two, three. And build in these ones as well. Uh, then we'll actually go to this one just here, our furthest one out from the body and build this down so it's actually three blocks past where we stop down here. So we actually go one, two, three, four, five, six, like so. And of course all three of these must be the same, like that. Starting on this, the third block down from these ones, we'll go ahead and add in a block of four. Two, three, and four, like so. Actually let's go five, just so we're in line with that one. There we go, looking good. Now let's do the other side the exact same. So our three rows of three, like that. Then we'll drop down on the, well, I'll go from the top here, adding in a block there and a block in here. Uh, then we'll go ahead and drop this down so that this one corresponds with the other arm. So we must stop this layer just here underneath of our trapdoors. Just for a block, like so. Then we'll go ahead and the next one goes down for three and so does the one after that as well. But we need to go ahead and outline it just before we do anything with it because it will get a little bit confusing. We start on the third block down for this one. But still stopping much in line with the other one, like that. And there you go. So we've got our two arms in. Now we can go ahead and give them a bit more detail as well. Just make sure they look symmetrical. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Okay, so let's take our grey concrete. Going up for two here. Then we'll place one just there. Around this side, what we need to do is build like a 3D shape. So it's a little bit weird. So definitely stay with me. We're going to go ahead and build. Um, let me just look at this a little bit better so I can see. One, two, one, two, three, and one, two, like so. Then we'll come back around the side for the two here and two there, like that. Or even just knock off that one back there. Yeah, that's looking cool. Now under here for the arm, we actually want to go ahead and build the hand in a sort of strange shape. So it needs to be sort of in a curve, but it also needs to have grey concrete underneath it for like a low, uh, a row even, not a low, like that. And then we'll come back and take ourselves some oak later and finish that off. For now though, zip round to the other side and do the exact same sort of gauntlet look. So the two there, one there, one, two, three for two rows and then one up there. And then we'll do our sort of strange backwards L shape like so. Under here are three. And then I need to grab some new materials for doing our hands in a moment. Yeah, actually let's get it now. Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and grabbed myself some stripped birch wood. I'm also going to go ahead and come back to the gauntlets. Knocking out this block here. And replacing the block of iron behind it. Just like so. And then I can place a block on this. Just in the centre middle like so. So let's do the same over here, knock out that one, add in a block there, and then knock out that one, just like so. Just makes it look a little bit more detailed, it's a little bit weird, but it kind of looks a little bit more unique as well. On the right hand, or Thor's left hand, we take ourselves our stripped birch wood, we go ahead and build down the back one for two, for our thumb, then we come along for two, we go along for three over here, and drop down the first two for just one block on both sides, like that. Awesome, there is one hand. Now we need to make the most confusing hand. This one over here that actually holds the hammer. So we're going to go ahead and drop down to this one, just here, for one, 
to uh, let's actually just leave it to at the moment yep I'm just kind of looking at this a bit weird yeah that's looking okay build out a block here uh, then we'll build out this one for one two three and this one for three then we'll take the top one for one just like so and then we need to go on the inside of this and build like a you know a little bit more of a closed shape so we add in one two blocks just there like so and then you can actually have the hammer come through that little gap there in the hand it's a very weird looking hand i know but once the hammer's in there and he's kind of grasping it it doesn't look too bad <laughs> super weird though okay there we go all right let's go ahead and build our head um or maybe even the cape or maybe even the hammer who knows let's go all right guys we're gonna do the cape just because once we have the cape done we can then work on the head and of course the the very very blonde locks as well so let's take ourselves the red wool we're going to go to behind these two iron places and we're going to go ahead and build one, two, three, four blocks like so for two rows on both of them, make them nice and symmetrical. And of course, the cape is going to wave in the wind so you can make all the ripples in it afterwards if you want to. Uh, then we'll do two rows of three up the top here and over there. Uh, then we'll start to tear this down. So we'll go to this one and build down for two more like so. Uh, then we'll build a cluster of four here, like so. Uh, then we'll build down another kind of cluster of two, and then we'll do actually another kind of four there. So we'll go for two, and then our four just there, like so. Four, no pun intended. Okay, then we'll go ahead and drop this down, because this is kind of going to be our second to last layer of, you know, head. Uh, sorry, cape even. So we'll drop this down again, on both sides of two. Then we want to start to connect this up. Now this is where it gets super weird and a little bit confusing. So if you need to pause the video or comment below with any questions, of course, feel free to do so. so. Let's go in this little gap and build up for two along there. Then we'll drop this down for two, add in a block there and add in one, two, three blocks there like so, so you can connect it up to the other side. Go ahead and angle that one up if you want by one block. In this little gap here, you can leave that empty We'll come back and finish this area later. You can even go ahead and add in two blocks here, a block there, and sort of start to make the cape shape like that. Now this is going to get, again, a little bit odd, so just bear with me. We bring this one down here for how I'm at heaven, uh, let me start again, however many blocks you want to. So not too close to the floor, but uh, maybe like a block above like that. And then we want to start to like curve this down so make it look as if it's flowing off of Thor's back so along the arm you can actually go ahead and extend the cape so on the second sort of tearing down so about here I'm going to add in a couple blocks there to get into that gauntlet shape then I'm going to go a block down from this one and build this to almost ground level as well so a block above the ground we're sort of marking out the perimeter of our cape and then we can fill in all the little nitty bits and bobs later on so like that sort of thing, then bring this one down, uh, bring it out by another couple blocks there. So we'll build this one all the way down. I tell you what, when I was building Thor and uh, going for the classic look, I actually reminded myself of um, the boys and Homelander. Uh, obviously Thor and Homelander are very, very different people, thank goodness. Um, but um, yeah, I don't know what it is. I, I think the gold, sort of the very blonde hair, the, uh, the red cape, you know, it kind of reminded me a little bit of Homelander, which was very bad. <laughs> but, um, yeah, if anyone's seen the boys, definitely let me know in the comments down below. So there we go. You can start to see the flow of the cape now, which is looking awesome. On this side, I made it a little bit more confusing. But I think I'm going to stick with the same design as the other area now. So I'm just going to go along with the, the um, you know, the sort of arm here and use the arm to my advantage. So in the gormlet and then sort of curve this down like this really should have done this a little bit better but um like i said because it's so unnatural looking it's not really ironed or you know straight or anything like that you need to make it super super confusing looking and in minecraft the best way to make something look confusing is just spam a load of blocks on it you don't even have to like make it look cool just spam loads of blocks on it and it will look super confusing and uh yeah this is the part I was dreading when teaching you guys the tutorial because it's always parts like this where they don't really have a structure to it 
that you kind of go a little bit mental and then start to forget things and make it look awful, which I'm very good at doing. But, <laughs> but hopefully it's going well. So let's bring this one down on the inside now, so sort of shadow it out. Like that sort of thing. And then making sure that our cape doesn't stop flowing on the inside either. So we sort of bring some of these down as well. Like this, just to give it the effect of a very fabricy, silky robe. Like that. This one down again. This one in here down. Maybe just a couple blocks out like that. This one in here down too. That one almost to the ground, and then this one also to the ground like that. So that actually looks better than my original one, I think. I'm just adding a couple blocks there. Yeah, what do you guys reckon? Let me know in the comments down below. But once you're happy with your cape, which I'm very happy with that one. I actually really like that. I prefer it to my original. Then uh, you can call it a day, and, you know, we can start to work on the next section. But um, spend as long as you need to on this. Not too long, of course, so you don't get bored. But um, as much time as you want, just sort of making it look natural or natural-ish like that. Once you've done that, take yourself a block of netherite and fill up these two blocks above our grey concrete to match up to the iron blocks here. And then we'll make our head. Alright, let's take ourselves some stripped oak wood, stripped birch wood, birch wood planks, birch wood stairs and some birch wood slabs as well. Taking yourself your stripped oak wood, you want to go to the netherite just here and build five blocks, I almost went to four, <laughs> five blocks like so for three rows like this. Just like so. We also fill in that little gap down there which is perfect. Uh, then we can actually take ourselves our stripped birch wood. I'm going to replace this block here and I'm going to build one, two, three, four, five just here for again three rows. Like that. Now then, this is where it gets a little weird. We're going to go ahead and build our stripped oak wood out for one, uh, sorry, one, two just there and then a two out on both sides and this is going to be for our beard like so uh, then we'll go ahead and build out for one two just one on top of the uh, grey concrete on both sides and then one in that little gap down there then we'll stick birch wood in here here and here and then we'll stick one more piece of stripped oak wood in there like so take your stripped birch and go along for five blocks here and actually bring this five blocks back for two rows so in this little gap as well Try not to make it too hollow, just so you can uh, sort of place your blocks on. Uh, then we'll stick ourselves a nose in here with stripped birch wood above our stripped oak wood. Uh, then we'll stick ourselves another two layers of uh, stripped birch wood, like that. And then finally three in there like so. Starting to look a little bit like Thor, which is awesome. Let's go to this block over here. Place yourself an upside down birch wood stair like so. And this block over here. We'll place ourselves a slab. On the one behind it, place yourself a block. Bring the block forward like so. And over here, do the same. And now actually, actually, instead of bringing it forward, I'm going to place a slab there like so. Now in this little gap, we can place ourselves slabs all the way along here. So one, two, three. I might replace this one with a slab too. And then I'm going to go to above this, building blocks in there for three. And then placing blocks on there for three like that. It looks a little bit odd at the moment, like a big fringe. So if you want to take yourself the slabs instead, that looks much better. Then you can place blocks up here for three, like that. Cool. Around the corner here, place yourself a block, sort of in line with that slab block, or even make a slab block like so. Then you can stick yourself a slab underneath there to make that into a whole block. Then stick yourself a block here, and an upside down stair there before you reach the beard. Behind this, take yourself a couple ears. So we'll just use ourselves some stripped oak wood, sorry, stripped birch wood again, by placing two, uh, two, not just yet, in a minute, we're gonna go back another one, like so, and then build this one up for four, like so. Four in total, three after that. So back here, we're adding our ears, just by adding in two bits of stripped birch wood, so that they're a block above the cape, like that. Remember that for where you get to the other side. It's just super easy to uh, remember. Let's actually go to the other side now. So over here, what we're going to do is go ahead and take ourselves our birchwood planks. Start to sort of build our hair going a bit 
more wavy. So we'll go down here, placing ourselves two stripped oak wood blocks. This one up here, place yourself stripped birch for two, like that for the ear. Stick yourself a slab in here, and then place a block on top of it like so. Stick yourself a slab here, and then build blocks up for about three, two in total. <laughs> and then we'll actually do like a slab there, and a slab there as well. Maybe even just a block. It's up to you guys, maybe a stair. Yep, and then maybe not off. Yeah, okay. Like I said, it's super wavy, so you don't have to copy me in any way. Just as long as you use up these materials over this head shape that we're kind of making right now. Then we'll go ahead and stick ourselves a birchwood plank in here. A slab on top of our stripped birch, like so. With a block on top of that one. Then we'll do a slab here, like so. And we'll place a block above that one, with also a slab on top of it, like so. On this one, place yourself two blocks and build down. Place yourself a block just here, and then a slab just there. Then you can actually build this one going up to another two like so. So it kind of comes out on the side of the head like that. Down on these three, you can go to one, two, three, four, five like so, because we're starting to get to the bottom of the head. Go back behind this and place a slab just here with one, two, three blocks up there like so, and replace the top one. Or even just place a slab there like so. Now we want to go back into this gap here. Bringing down planks like this all the way down to the bottom. And then do that for two rows. So to the bottom as far as you can go down basically. And for the back we want to go ahead and bring this back to this block here. So this layer just here. So I'm going to go out from here. And just sort of do a weird pattern like this. Not really much in the way of details, just kind of making that weird sort of flowing hair look, you know. Maybe even a couple blocks in the little gaps as well. Like that sort of thing. To curve it up and around to this corner here. So the head shape we're actually making mostly with our hair, which is kind of cool. Also a little bit awkward. Make sure to get around your ears like this. Add in that stripped oak wood underneath the ear. Then around the ear, you can just sort of build like this. We'll come back and sort of sort it out a little bit later on as well. For now, I'm just going to build up the back here. Making it into a nice shape. So it looks like Thor's head. Let me know in the comments how you guys do this. If you make it a little bit easier than my one. Which I'm sure you will, because I <laughs> tend to make everything a little bit more confusing than it needs to be. Which I'm so sorry about. It's just a really bad habit I have. There you go, you can start to see the basic shape now, like that. And if you take a second to look at the front, you can see where you need to sort of make it more um, profound on the hair. So you can see on the left side I need to add in a bit there, and you also see I need to chop off a little bit just there. Yeah, that looks better. So up here we'll just add in a couple, like maybe some stairs and slabs. So like this sort of thing, uh, I'm not going to add one there, I might add a stair there though. Slabs around here. Slabs around there, stair in there, slab here, stairs there like so. And then of course you can slab up the top if you want to as well. Just to give it that little bit of extra texture. Okay, I'm going to add another layer onto this side of the head. So I'm just going to add in a bit of hair here, a couple there, around the ear as well. Slab there. How does that look? Looking a little bit odd? A little bit odd, yeah. So let's knock that one off. And maybe place ourselves a stair in there instead. How's that looking? Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too great. But um, it'll do for now. Yeah, it's definitely a weird situation. Hair in Minecraft is going to be super tricky to make. Because we can't really brush it very well, can we? We can't really style it. So you just want to make it the best way that you can. And again, once you're happy with it, you can call it a day, and then you can move on to the final section, which is going to be to build Thor's hammer. So yeah, but let me know if you have any questions about that in the comments down below. I'm more than happy to help you guys out in the best way that I can. Cool. The moment we've all been waiting for, Thor's hammer. You take yourself smooth stone, smooth stone slabs, lodestone, dark prismarine, and some brown wool. Let's go ahead and take our dark prismarine for our handle. We want to go ahead and build in the hand just for two. 
Then we're going to build one out the back just here for one. I'm actually going to have to chop the cape off a little bit. I made it too large on the side. <laughs> there we go. Like so. Uh, then you want to be able to place yourself a little bit of um, leather sort of on the back of the handle. So you can make it look like the actual bit that goes around your wrist so that the hammer doesn't fly off. But the hammer just comes back to Thor anyway. So yeah, it doesn't really make too much of a difference. So we got two brown walls just there. One hanging down from the, the uh, dark prismary. Then we'll stick another two just here. Like so. On the front of this, you want to build out from the hand by one, two, three. Then you can take your smooth stone, placing one block here with two above it and two below it like so. Then we come out on the sides to mimic this row on both sides for that six block shape. Then we'll come down to here and build in a one, two, three block shape out like so. And then we'll do our six over here again. So come out from the the nine block shape and go up for the six again like that now we don't want this to be our end because we don't want it to be an entire square we want it to be a little bit rounded on the corners so we drop down under this one and we do sort of uh, two rows of lodestone oops on the you know the nine blocks and then we do our smooth stone in the gap like so then we can come out from this and build up for the six again like so then we'll come out from this one, uh, other side and build up for the six blocks again. Uh, then we'll fill over the top for the nine blocks. And then we'll mimic what we did on the bottom to the top up here. Just by adding in those two rows of lodestone. Which sounds super weird when you place it. Is that right? Yep. And then our smooth stone in the gap like so. Finally, take yourself smooth stone slabs. Come to the middle of the six block shape here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, five block shape. My mistake, guys. One, two, three, four, five. I was thinking, is that five? Because we have a middle block. It is five. I've been saying six this whole time. Five blocks you want to go. So sorry about that. Uh, so then we take our slabs and we place basically a block made off of slabs in that little gap for the top of the hammer like so. I'm not even going to try and pronounce how to say the hammer's name because I try and say it all the time and mess up. So I'm not even going to pronounce it. M Majana? No. Sounds like a drug. Let's just let's just leave it at that. Um, <laughs> um, there we go. Anyway, that is how to build for. Thank you very, very much for watching this Wheel Assassin guide, guys. I really, really do appreciate it. I hope you've had a good time learning how to build Thor. If you would like to go ahead and share this with your friends, if you know any big Thor fans, or even just superhero fans in general, definitely send them my way. That'd be awesome. I definitely have more Marvel and DC tutorials coming very, very soon. I'm hoping to build all of the Avengers, like I said before, and uh, maybe even a pop vinyl version of the Mighty Four behind me as well. So uh, definitely be on the lookout for those ones and uh, hopefully stay tuned as well. If you did enjoy this one, please be sure to smash a like. That'd be super, super kind. And if you'd like to stick around for those future tutorials, definitely hit the subscribe button and maybe even the bell as well, just so you don't miss out on an upload. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Check me out on my social medias, all links in the description below. Um, and you guys stay safe, of course. Have an excellent rest of your day. And I will see you at the next Wheel of Guide coming super soon. Goodbye for now, Assassins. Thank you so, so much.